Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom and Gomi, and today we are back for another statue tutorial. Now today is very, very exciting. Not slightly, but very exciting, because we are starting a new series slash franchise. Now it's been a while since we've done a new series, and today we are starting the Overwatch series. So a lot of you guys have been really hyped for this. You guys have been asking for it for a long, long time. Now, here's the thing. I had these designs back when the game first came out, like... This is Q1 or Q2 of 2016, so a long, long time ago. I've been sitting on these designs, literally sitting on them. Not not literally, but um, yeah, <laughs> we've had them for a long time, and I've never got around to actually doing the tutorials. There's a few reasons for that. I was allocating designs to other tutorial channels, and they ended up not really using them. So here we are, all these months later, finally getting around to it. So I really do hope you enjoy this. Today we are doing Reaper, one of, I guess, the fan favourites from the game. But if you do enjoy this, let me know down in the comments below and say what ones you want to see in the near future. I intend, if everything goes to plan, to do Soldier 76, Widowmaker, characters like that in the very near future as well. McCree, there's tons of characters. So if you want to see them, let me know. And another thing is also, just as a bonus, we have every single character in a plushy form. So the little small diddy little cute characters. If you want to see that, let me know. I'm probably not going to do them on the main channel. I'll do them on the second or the frosted channel. But let me know because it would be interesting to see how many of you guys are actually interested in seeing something like that. With that said, on to the Reaper statue. The blocks you're going to need are the following. You'll need cyan clay, grey wool, black wool, stone, block of coal, red clay, red wool, white clay, light grey wool, Buttons, item frames, signs, birchwood slabs, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, birchwood stairs, and birch planks. If you want to pause here, grab them blocks into your inventory, that would be great. And then we can get straight into building. Now before we do start, I want to give credit where credit is due to the designer. This was designed a long, long time ago, as I said, by Lazar, aka um, Poteza, as he's known there. And I'll leave all his information down in the description. So go check him out, show him some love and support, because it is, again, a great design. And I do like to give credit, of course, where credit is due, because a lot of work goes into these designs, and that is not something you can ignore. Anyways, with that said and done, let's get straight into building. So we're going to find a nice empty space, that's not a problem here, and we're going to start building. So, we're going to start off by building the legs. The legs are 12 tall and 8 wide, each layer being 8 wide, and they're being 12 in total. Probably, hence why I said 12 tall, 8 wide. Anyways, moving on. So we're going to place one cyan clay... 2 grey wool, 2 cyan clay, 2 grey wool, and 1 cyan clay. And that is indeed 8 blocks wide. You don't believe me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and lucky number 8. So it is indeed 8 wide, just to, I guess, knock out any conspiracy theories out there that it's all set up and it's not 8 wide, and I'm lying to you, it is indeed 8 wide. So that is our layer number uno. I'm going to go up, layer by layer, left to right, and after every layer, I'll give you guys an opportunity to pause if you need to do so. The way you do that is by hitting the pause button on the video. So that's, I guess, the best thing for you to do. If you feel you need to pause, pause the video and work from there. It's very, very easy, and I think that's probably the most efficient way of doing things. Anyways, with that said, moving on to layer number two, we're going to place two stone, one black wall, two stone, one black wall, and two blocks of stone. Layer number three, we're going to place one stone, one black wall, one light grey wool, if I can grab that onto my hotbar. Then we're going to place two stone, one light grey wool, one black wool, and one block of stone. So that is the first three layers complete. Again, brief opportunity to pause and catch up if you need to do so. And essentially what we're building here is his feet. So he's got his feet, his boots, and it moves into like a jacket slash cloak, and then into the main body itself. Okay, so moving on to layer number four, we're going to place one block of stone, two light grey wool, two stone, two light grey wool, and one block of stone. So that is the first four layers. Layer number five is simply eight blocks of stone. And then layer number six, which is going to be our halfway point, so we'll take a nice little break. We're going to place one black wool, one light grey wool, one stone, two black wool, one stone, one light grey wool and one black wool. 
So, as I said, this is our halfway point. This is, like, layer number 6. Halfway to 12. Okay, so essentially, what you can see is we've built the shoes. This is where the shoes finish, and from here on out, we're moving into the upper legs slash cloak. So, what we're going to do, starting off with layer number 7, we're going to place one black wall, one block of coal, four black wool, one coal, and one black wool. Now, of course, the cloak slash jacket itself is black, and there's going to be highlight details using coal. For layer number eight, we're going to place one black wool, two coal, two black wool, two coal, and one black wool. On top of this, we're going to start off by repeating the same pattern. So we place one black wool, two coal, one black wool, and this is where it changes. So rather than it being black wool, two coal, black wool, it's going to be one red clay, one red wool, one red clay, and one black wool. And that will come into play later on, and I'll talk about that when we start adding some 3D effects. But right now, as you can see, it is indeed nine blocks tall, and we are making very, very good progress. So, moving on to layer number 10, we're going to start off by placing one black wall, two coal, two black wall, two coal, and one black wall. So, same as layer number 8. Now, the good news is layer number 11 is the exact same. So, one um, black wall, two coal, two black wall, two coal, and one black wall. And then we're going to cap it off with our final layer, layer number 12, using eight black wall. And once you've done that, it will look something like this. And that is your legs complete, or at least it is so far, because we will be coming back and adding a bunch of 3D effects, but we'll do that after we've built the body. Okie dokie. So, again, just to give you the rundown, that is 12 blocks tall, 8 blocks wide, and this is the first 6 layers here, aka the shoes, and then the remaining 6 is, of course, the legs. So, again, good time to pause, and now we're going to move on and make some progress on the body. So, for the body, it's essentially going to start off on the 13th layer of the build. We're going to start off on the left side by placing one black wall, one light grey, one grey, two cyan, one grey, one light grey, and one black wall. So, this is layer number one of the body, but layer number 13 of the build. From here, what we're going to do is go four blocks to the left. So, on the left side, one, two, three, four, using coal blocks. And on the right side, we do the exact same. We go one, two, three, and four using coal blocks out to the right. Essentially, what this is doing is not only expanding left and right four blocks, but marking out where the arms begin. So we're not going to build the arms now, but when we come back to it, we already have the first layer marked out. It means we don't have to count. It's just generally cutting corners, which is something I do rather well, probably a bit concerningly too well, just cutting corners and being a tad lazy, just a tad. But anyways, as I said, we're not going to be worrying about that for now. We'll be worrying about the body, and then we'll come back to that later on. So in regards to the body, moving on to layer number two, right above this black wall here, essentially, we're still going to continue going left to right. So for the second layer, we start by placing two black wall, one cyan clay, two grey wall, one cyan clay, and two black wall. Again, that is layer number two, or if you want to be more technical, layer number 14. Moving on to layer number three, very, very similar pattern. We're going to place two black wool, one light gray, and we should really move light gray up here. It just makes a whole much, whole bunch more sense. Um, two cyan, one light gray, and two black wool. So essentially, you can kind of see the pattern here. Each layer begins with two black wool and ends with two black wool and has four blocks in the middle, which is a slightly different pattern. Okay, so that was layer number three. Layer number four, and it's the exact same for layer number five, we place two black wool, one cyan, two stone, one cyan, if I can place it correctly, did it again, and two black wool. Now, just like I said, the next layer is the exact same. So we have two layers of two black wool, one cyan, two stone, one cyan, and two black wool. And that is indeed layer number four and layer number five. Moving on to layer number six, we're going to place two black wool, one grey wool, two cyan, one grey wool, and two black wool. And again, that is layer number six. For layer number seven, we're going to place two black wool, one grey wool, two light grey wool, one grey, and two black wool. And again, this is what it looks like so far. 
Notice, after every layer, I'm giving you opportunity. That is just so you don't get left behind at any point whatsoever. I'm trying to make it basically impossible for you to get lost on this. Hopefully it's working. The next layer, we're going to place two black wool, one cyan clay, two grey wool, one cyan clay, and two black wool. The next layer we're going to place is two black wool, one stone, two cyan, one stone, and two black wool. And that was layer number nine, I believe. For the next layer, which will be the tenth layer, we're going to place two black wool, one cyan, two light grey, one cyan, and two black wool. And again, that is layer number 10. Layer number 11, second to last layer, almost there. We're going to place two black wool, one stone, two grey wool, one stone, and two black wool. And that is again layer number 11. And our final layer that brings us all the way up to the top, finishes this section off, is two black wool, one grey wool, two cyan, one grey wool, and two black wool and once you've done that should look something like this that wasn't too difficult now was it so that is a 12 by 8 now it looks when you zoom out a bit bigger and that is of course because right now the statue should be 24 tall and 16 wide 8 wide if you're not including the arms which to be fair we haven't built yet so an easy way to double check that you've done everything right is using coordinates because if you're anything like me again cutting corners maybe just a tiny bit then you don't want to have to count 24 every time because that's long and problematic and who wants to do that no fun there so what we're going to do is grab ourselves a map if you're on pc press f3 it's essentially the same thing and what you're looking at is the three coordinates at the top of the map you're looking for your x your y and your z so you're looking for your y that's all we care about scrap the uh, x coordinate and the z coordinate we're looking for y only so as you see, when I go up, it goes up. When I go down, it goes down. So I'm going to plop my bottom on the floor, and you can see it is Y number 5, which means my floor level is Y5. Yours may be different, so definitely do consider that, and don't assume that it's just going to be 5, so definitely check it. What I'm going to do is add 24 onto that, because it should be 24 tool, and through the power of pure mathematician wizardry, I'm going to tell you that it is 29. Oh my gosh, I am a genius. Anyways, what we're going to do is fly up to the top and we're going to take a nice seat on top right here. And look at that, Y29. That proves to me that that is, in fact, 24 tall. If it came out like Y32, then I'd know things are slightly off and I'd have to reconsider. But that basically proves to me that it is, in fact, 24 tall. And hopefully you get the same outcome. That'll be really, really handy and will save you a bit of time counting. That's always a nice thing to do. Cutting corners is brilliant. Anyways, as you can see, should look something like this. We've got two areas right here to represent the arms that are completely empty. So that is what we are indeed going to focus on right now. So we're going to start off on the left arm. Now, like I said earlier, what you do is you come to the 13th layer of the build. You go four blocks to the left using coal. If you haven't already done that, do that now. If you have, brilliant, we can move on. So, the arms are going to be 12 tall and 4 wide, and as I said, this is going to be the first layer. The second layer is 1 sand and 3 black wool. And on top of that, we're going to do a layer of 4 blocks of coal. So again, each layer is 4 wide. The next layer, which is the fourth layer, is simply 4 blocks of stone. On top of that, we're going to do 1 stone, 2 grey wool, and 1 stone. To cap that off... We're going to do a layer of four black wool, and that is the sixth layer. For the seventh and eighth layer, we're going to do four blocks of white clay. For the ninth and tenth layer, we're going to do four blocks of black wool. And then for the final two layers, we're essentially going to place two layers of four coal. But on the top left and top right, we're going to punch one out and replace with black wool. And once you've done that, it should look like this. That is a 12 by 4. And just by the fact that that took us like 30 seconds to do, it explains it is very, very simple. Now we're going to repeat this now. Exact same, just mirrored. So if you just want to flip it over basically onto the right arm, I'll go for it anyways. So what we do is again, same logic, come to the first layer of the body, the 13th layer of the build, go four blocks to the right using coal. 
On top of said coal, from left to right, we're going to place three black wool and one cyan. On top of that, for the third layer, we place four blocks of coal. And on top of that, we place four blocks of stone. First four layers already done. For layer number five, we're going to place one stone, two grey wool and one stone. We're going to cap that off with a layer of four black wool, and that is the first six layers. For our seventh and eighth layer, we place four white stained clay, or white clay. For our ninth and tenth layer, we place four black wool. And then for our eleventh and twelfth, we place four coal. And in the top left and top right corner, we punch it out and replace with black wool. And as you can see, very, very easy. Already done. That took all of what? 30 seconds, if that. It is very, very easy. So again, if you want to pause, I'll get rid of my arm and we'll have a more in-depth look. Feel free to take your time and come back when you're ready. In regards to what we're going to be doing next, we're essentially adding all the 3D effects. So when I say we're done with the body and we're done with the arms and legs, I'm lying technically because we still have got to add a bunch of 3D effects. So should be fun. Let's begin. I'm going to grab my arm back and we're going to go back down to the bottom of the legs right down to here. Now, where this red clay is and red wool is, you might have thought that was me just like marking it out for fun, and you'd be wrong. That's basically a marker point. So, on this red clay here, what we're going to do is grab ourselves our uh, red clay, and we're going to bring it forwards one. So, this is a 3D effect we're building it on top of, not into, not replacing on top. To the right of that, we have placed one red wool, we then place one red clay, and one red wool. What we're then going to do is above this first red clay, we're going to go up once and twice to this black wall here. And we're essentially going to do the exact same, but opposite. So we go red wall, clay, red wall, clay. So as you can see on the bottom one, it's clay, red wall, clay, wall. This time it's wall, clay, wall, clay. And essentially what we're then going to do is we're going to grab our item frames and essentially cover every side apart from the top and bottom. So every visible side um, with an item frame. And you don't want to put anything in the item frame at this point until you grab yourselves your block of coal. And then you're going to go ahead and place a block of coal inside every item frame. And this is just representing his shotgun shells slash, I guess, ammo. Um, and what we're then going to do as the finishing touch is this, is, can, this can be a bit tricky. But behind every um, item frame... Click on the block with a sign and then just click immediately off. You don't need to type anything if you want to type a secret message and feel free, sure. It might look a bit weird, but essentially you just want to put a sign behind every single item frame. And all you do for this is, as I said, just click on the block. Try and avoid the item frame, otherwise it will mess it up a bit. And it will give you something that looks like this. The signs kind of like tie it together and make it look like an elastic band almost. And the final thing we're going to do, just to cap it off, is on top of each one we're going to place a row of four stone brick slabs. And that is our effect. We're going to start off with the legs. But that is not all. I'll give you guys a second to replicate that. But we're going to add a few more cool things. So what we're going to start off by doing is by getting a block of coal. And right next to this half slab here, one to the left, we're going to place a block of coal. And to the left of that, we place one light grey wall. From here, we're going to go up one using stone. Then one to the left using coal, up one using coal, and one to the left using our cyan clay. And it will look like this. Now there is a bunch of 3D effects on the hands, and we'll be discussing them in a second when we get onto the sides, because we need to build the base of the hands first before we can do that. But in regards to the 3D effects on the front of the body, we can still continue with them. So this is what it looks like so far, and we're going to move on up a bit and work higher up. So, starting off on the arms, this is where we're going to start. We're going to come up to the layer on each arm where the white clay is, and we're going to come up to the layer just above it, which is black wall. As a 3D effect, from left to right, we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, coal. And we do the exact same on the right side, so the layer of black wall above the white clay, we place 4 coal. When you've done that, what we're then going to do is on the left side, go up diagonal to right and down diagonal to right and place 2 stone. And on the right side, go down diagonal to left and up diagonal to the left, and place two stone. Now, there will be a line in the middle right here, and this pattern in the middle should have one stone, two cyan, one stone. Directly in front of that, we're going to add another ammo clip. So we're going to place one red wall, two red clay, and one red wall. So it's slightly different to these ones in pattern. It goes wall, two clay, wall. And just like we did on the other ones, we're going to cover each side in an item frame, 
place a cold block in each one and then place a sign behind just to tie it all together and then top it off by putting a row of half slabs above it. So that's what I mean by if you press on the item frame, it will go a bit weird. It will just twist it. Just keep on doing it until it goes back around again and just try again to make sure that you get the sign on the block and it should be very, very easy. Just rinsing and repeating essentially what we did earlier, a row of four slabs and once you've done that, it's as simple as that. That is the 3D effects complete. Okay, so on that basis, you've done everything and it looks like this. You are now ready to move on to building the sides of the statue. So as you can see, it's already looking really, really impressive. Okay, so what we're going to do is get my arm back. And then we're going to scoot around to the bottom left corner of the statue. Because of course, as I just said, we're going to start working on the sides of the legs. The side of the arms and then ultimately the rear side. So we come to this sign stained clay right here. We're going to come to the left side and we're going to expand one, two and three to the left. Now essentially the side of the legs is 12 tall and four wide. However, the fourth layer is already complete. This is the fourth layer. So I'm not going to be regarding to this because it's already done. So what this means is we're going to be placing three blocks per row. The three will add up to this fourth block and will be four wide. So on the second layer, we're going to place two black wool, one stone, and then there'll be a stone already here. The third layer, we place two black wool, one light gray, and then the stone will already be here. And then for the next layer, the fourth layer, we place two black wool, one stone, and of course the stone will already be here. Now once you've done that, that is the first four layers complete. On top of that, we're going to do eight layers of black wool. So we just build up all the way using black wool, and that will give you your 12 by four. That is the left side of the leg. And the good news is the right side is the exact same. So if you want to go around there and copy it yourself and do it yourself, feel free. But again, I will walk you guys through it. And from a side angle, it looks something like this. Now we will be expanding it backwards one in a minute when we get around to the rear side of the statue. But for now, we don't need to worry about that. So coming around to the right side, again, we come to the sand clay here. We go one, two, three to the right. And it's going to be a 12 by 4 area. It currently looks like an L shape. When we fill in the three blocks on each layer, it will be a 12 by 4 rectangle. So the second layer we're going to place is one stone and two black wool. On top of that, we're going to place one light gray, two black. And then our final layer is one stone, two black. That is the first four layers done. And just like the other side, we're going to then build up eight on each layer using uh, black wool. And that will give you your 12 by 4 rectangle and your right side of the leg. And from a corner angle, I was about to say a side angle there. From the corner angle, it looks like this. And from head on, like this. Exact same as the left side. Very, very easy. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do now is come around to the rear side of the statue. And come to the bottom layer of each arm. Now this should be made out of blocks of coal. What we're going to do is go 1, 2, 3 backwards all the way across. And what that does is turns it into a 4x4 four four square of coal, as you can see. And we're going to repeat this on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, all the way back, all the way across. And that gives you a 4x4 four four square, which is going to be the underside of each arm. Now, now we have this, what we can go ahead and do is add the 3D effects I was talking about on the hands. And this is essentially almost like they kind of represent claws, I guess you could say. Um, so what we're going to do is grab ourselves our stone brick stairs and our stone brick slabs. And we're going to start working on it. So what we do is we're going to come to the front side. Come to the front left corner of this one. And this block right here. We're going to place, let's just say, a block of stone. We're then going to leave one block. Place a stone and then leave one block. We're then going to come around to the left side. Starting here, we're going to leave one block. Place one, leave one, and then there will be one already here. So underneath each block you've placed, place a stone brick slab. And then go ahead and punch out each block. So essentially, you should have three floating stone brick slabs. What you're then going to do is come around to the rear side of the statue. And on top of each of these slabs, you're going to place an upside down stair. So on the two front ones, you have them facing towards the rear side of the statue. And on the side, you have it facing towards the inside of the statue. And what it will do is just give you like curved fingers that look like this. And it's just an extra detail. Now you repeat this on the right side. So you leave the first block at the front, place a stone. Leave a block, stone, so you want this corner block to always have one. Come around to the side, leave a block, stone, leave a block. Underneath each one, place a slab, and then punch out the stone and place your stairs. So from the rear side, you place the two at the front, facing towards the rear, 
and the one on the side facing towards the inside. And again, the reason why I place uh, the uh, stairs afterwards is just they can be a bit tricky to place and just having the slab there makes it a tiny bit easier. But once you've done that, that is the details on the fingers and we can now move on to the sides of the arms. Okie dokie. So we're going to come around to the left side of the left arm first. We'll work on that. Then we'll, I guess, transition around to the right side. So we already have the first layer, which consists of four blocks of coal. Now, just like the sides of each leg, it is 12 tall, four wide. However, the fourth layer is done. So we're not going to be discussing that. It's already done. So three blocks per layer and 12 in total. Okay, so the second layer consists of one cyan clay two black wool, the third layer is three coal, and the fourth layer is three stone. The fourth layer we place one stone, two grey wool, we cap that off with three black wool, and then now it's basically just matching up the sides. So the next two layers is three white stained clay, we then have two layers of three black wool, a layer of three coal, and then a layer of three black wool. That will bring you all the way up to the top. As I said, it's just a case of matching up the sides. And from a side angle, it looks like this. Again, that is 12 by 4, just to clarify. And the right side is, of course, the exact same. But we are not done. There is a 3D effect we're going to add. So what we're going to do is come to the bottom left corner of the arm. And we're going to place a row of four cyan clay. So again, this is extending the arm one out. So it's now five wide. On top of this, we're going to place a layer of one grey, two black wool, one grey. And on top of that, we're going to place one cyan, leave a two block gap, and one cyan. The final touch we're going to add for now is we're going to grab ourselves some stone brick stairs. And on the fourth layer, we're going to leave one block, place two stone brick stairs, leave one block. And we do the exact same on the fifth. So we leave one block, place two stone brick stairs, and leave one block. And it will look like this. And again, I'll give you a side view angle because it will probably help a bit more in this scenario. Now the final thing we're going to add is we're going to come up to the top and go to not the first, second, third, we come to the fourth layer, you'll see the um, coal in line with it, and we're going to place a row of four blocks of coal, again as a 3D effect, and once you've done that, his arm looks all of a sudden really bulky and really detailed and beautiful, I guess you could say, because it is a lot more interesting, and that is essentially the left arm complete. Now, don't worry, if you did struggle with that, I'll come back later on in the video when we're doing the spin around and give you a really in-depth rundown and, I guess, close-up of what it looks like, just so you can catch up if you need to. But for now, statue should be looking like this and is starting to come together really, really nicely. Okay, so transitioning around to the right side now, pretty much carbon copy, apart from the 3D effect. The 3D effect is slightly different. So, the first layer, again, is our coal. The second layer, we're going to place two black wool one cyan clay. On top of this, we're going to place a row of three coal. And on top of that, we're going to place a row of three stone. We're then going to place two grey wool, one stone. On top of that, we place a row of three black wool. We're then going to place two rows of three white clay. And essentially, just like the other side, it's now matching up. So two layers of three black wool. This layer is coal, so it must be three coal. And this one's black wool, so it must be three black wool. 12 by 4, 12 layers in total, 4 on each layer, and this is what it looks like without the 3D effects, and now we're going to go ahead and go a bit crazy and add a few. So, just like the other side, we're going to start at the bottom in front of the coal, we're going to extend it out one layer using 4 cyan clay. The second layer is going to be 1 grey wool, 2 black wool, and 1 grey wool, so currently it will look like this. On top of this, we're going to place 1 cyan, leave a 2 block gap, and place 1 cyan. Now, before, we would have placed the stairs right here. You can do that if you want to, but just to stick to the original design, what you do is in front of the grey wall, place an upside down stair, and the same on this side. So you have two upside down stairs, one on the left, one on the right, each coming off of the grey wall, and from the side angle, it looks like this. So it's a bit more spiky this side, but again, it's kind of being relevant to what the character looks like in-game. Now, in terms of here, again, you come to the fourth to top layer, which would be the ninth layer and we're going to place a row of four coal and that pretty much wraps it up it looks like this very very similar in terms of shape and character to the other side but again slightly different with the 3d effect okie dokie so that is the statue so far it is looking 
really, really good, in my opinion. Definitely let me know down in the comments below what you're thinking of it, because I would absolutely love to hear it, um, just so we can get an idea on what you like and what you don't like for future videos. With that said, we're going to come around to the rear side now and begin work on this, because as you can see, it's not looking too great. It's looking a bit empty, to say the least. However, the rear side has some good news, because what we're going to do is start off at the bottom, and we're going to do three layers, and then that's pretty much it. We then move on to the cloak. So we come to the bottom. We're going to start with this cyan clay here. Next to this, we place two gray wool, two cyan clay, two gray wool. On top of this, we're going to place one light gray wool, four stone, and one light gray wool. And on top of that, we're going to place one light gray wool, one stone, two light gray wool. That's not light gray, that's coal. One stone, and one light gray wool. Now this is very, very simple. We're going to be adding a cloak, which is going to be a 3D effect. What we're going to do is come to the bottom left corner to the cyan clay. And above that, so we come up to the second layer, we place a black wall. We're then going to go up diagonal, not once, but twice to the right. And we're going to repeat this on the right side. So we go to the bottom right corner, go up one, and then we go up diagonal to the left twice and link together in the morning in the morning in the middle <laughs> i don't know why i said morning there um but anyways <laughs> who knows um so it will look like this so there'll be a row of four black wool and then two diagonal in each direction what we're then going to do is on the left side we're going to build up all the way up to the top and this is all the way up to the top of the body so up to the same height as the front side and on the right side, exact same. So we build all the way up to the top. I believe it's 22 in total, um, because of course there's a two block, no, it's a one block gap at the bottom. So it'd be 23 in total. And then on this one, 22, and then the next one, 21. So it's all to the same height. Just make sure it's all to the same height as the front side. It always aligned and stuff like that. And it will give you a massive 3D effect of a cloak. Now, there is going to be a few details we're going to add to the cloak, of course, because we don't want it to be just a plain black cloak. Uh, but it's minor details, so it won't take too long to do at all and won't require much effort. In regards to the top here, just go ahead and fill it all in using black wool. doesn't really matter. This part will be covered up by the head and we'll discuss the shoulders in a second. But for now, as a progress report, it should look like this. And as you can see, it sticks out one block further than the rear side of the legs because it is indeed... A 3D effect. Okie dokie. So in regards to the details we're going to add, we're going to come up to the top left corner of said cloak. We're going to leave a two block gap, come to the third block and go down one. So we're on the second to top layer, third block, and we're going to punch it out. We're going to go down to the right, one, two, three, and then up. So it makes a U shape. On the lower layer, we're going to place one stone, two light grey wall, one stone, and on top of each stone, we'll just place one more stone. As you can see, it makes a U shape. So that is on the second and third layer from top. What we're then going to do is go down one, two, and on the third layer, so there'll be a two block gap. We're going to punch out a layer of four, like so. So a row of four. And on that row, we place one light gray wall, two stone, one light gray wall. And as you can see, again, two block gaps. So there's one block gap from this to the top, two block gap between that one. And then what we're going to do is underneath the stone, we're going to go down once and twice, punch out two blocks. And underneath this one, we go down once and twice again, punch out two more and replace both with stone. So it'll give you a pattern which looks like this. Again, it is very, very simple to replicate. And that is the whole point. We want to make it nice and easy because the rest of the statue is a bit of a pain. Not going to lie. Okay, so again, brief second to pause here if you need to do so. And then we can go start making some progress on the rear side of the arms. Okay, so the rear side of the arms is just a case of matching everything that we've done before. It's pretty much the same pattern as before, but just one thinner because one side is already done. So we're going to work on the left side, aka the back of the right arm first, and then we'll transition over to this one. So same logic applies, 12 by 4, fourth block's already done, so we're only doing three per row. First layer is coal. Next to the sign here, we're going to place three black wool. On top of that, we place three blocks of coal. On top of that, we place three blocks of stone. We're then going to place two grey wool, one stone. On top of this, we then place three black wool. We're then going to do two layers of three white clay. 
two layers of free black wool, and then two layers of free coal. Now, just like the other side, in the top right corner and top left, the top left should already be done. In the top right, we're going to place one black wool, and it will end up looking something like this. Now, to keep the pattern and the 3D effect, what we're going to do is come to the ninth layer, and we're going to place a row of four coal as a 3D effect, and what this does is gives it like an armband effect going all the way around the shoulder, and that is the rear side of the left arm complete, or the rear side of the right arm, the f left arm that we're looking at. I confused myself there, but anyways, it's irrelevant. We're now going to go over to the right side, do the exact same mirrored. So very, very simple. First layer is coal, second layer is free black wool, third layer is free coal, fourth layer is free stone. We're then going to place one stone, two grey wool, and again, I'll just back up in case you want to slow down a tiny bit. The next layer is free black wool. Then matching up, we're going to do two layers of free white clay, two layers of free black wool, a layer, or in fact, two layers of free coal. And then the top left corner and top right is going to be black wool. Punch it all out. And on the ninth layer, place a row of 3D for coal. Once you've done that, it looks like this. And that is the rear side of the body complete. And to finish up the statue, or at least the body of the statue, all we're going to do is fill in the remaining gaps in the shoulders using blocks of coal. And that is the body complete, officially complete. Now, of course, Reaper is missing his head, and that is a problem. But we'll discuss that in a second. For now, we're going to have a little spin around of the statue. And then we're going to, I guess, wrap up this segment and then move on to the head. So for this segment, what we're going to do is go to each particular part of the statue I'm going to give you the measurements. For example, this is the front side of the legs. It is 12 by 8. And of course, there's the 3D effects of the, I guess, canisters, the gun shell canisters, and also the little strap right there. And then I'll give you a brief second to pause. You don't have to, but if you want to, it's always great. And then we're going to move on. So that's how it's going to work. So you have a brief second to pause, and then we move on. So this is the front side of the body. Again, 12 by 8, and the front side of each arm, 12 by 4. Lots of 3D effects, not to mention on the left and right arm. On the ninth layer of each one, there is four coal. Coming around to the left side, the left side of the leg is 12 by 4, and it's got the cloak sticking out. That kind of makes it look like five wide, but it's not. Then we have the left side of the arm, 12 by 4. Again, a lot of 3D effects. And then we have like the claw-like um, shapes underneath like this. Coming around to the right side, exact same as the left, 12 by 4. We have the claws underneath. And then slightly different 3D effects on the right side of the arm, but again, it is 12 by 4. And on the ninth layer, we have a row of 4 coal. Coming around to the rear side, rear side of the legs, basically covered by the cloak. But we have got this little pattern down here. Moving on up to the rear side of the body, again covered by the cloak, but that is 12 by 4 and has a little pattern on it. And the rear side, 12 by 4, 12 by 8, and then the rear side of each arm, 12 by 4, and on the ninth layer again, has the 3D effect. In regards to the shoulders, it looks like this, 16 wide, 4 thick, and that is pretty much it. Again, if you have any problems with this so far, then let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try and help you as much as possible. But hopefully, at this stage, everyone has something looking like this. That is ideal scenario. Again, there might be a few people that got lost a tiny bit along the way. If you want to go back in the video, see where things haven't gone quite to plan, then feel free. Alternatively, again, let me know down in the comments below. With that said, now let's move on to the head. Okay, so what we're going to do is start off by coming up to the top left corner, and from here we're going to count one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, place a black wall and bring it two forwards. What we're then going to do is repeat this on the right side, so we come to the top right corner, we go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, place a black wall and bring it two forwards. Now what we're going to do, there should be a six block gap in between, we're going to link them together on both layers, so there will be two layers, and of course there will be a six block gap in the middle. And what that will do is give you an eight by two overhang. And that is the front side. What we're then going to do is come around to the other side. So the left and right side. And we're going to expand one, two, three, four, five backwards. And same with the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And what this will do is give you a two block overhang at the rear side. Now you won't really notice it as much on the rear side. Of course because the cape is already overhanging by one block. So technically, it will only look like a one block overhang, but it is indeed a two block, as you can see right here on the side. Now, essentially, that gives you an eight by two overhang on the rear side as well, which an overall in total gives you an eight by eight square. And this is going to be the template for our head. 
Now Reaper itself, the character model, or at least the head of the character model, is very very plain, with the front being the only side that really has anything of detail. So this makes it very very easy for us. What we're going to do is essentially build an 8x8 cube of black wall. We're then going to go ahead and add the details in afterwards, and that's essentially how we're going to do things. So what we're going to do is come to the front side, this is our first layer. We're going to build up 7, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we do this in every corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and same with the back corners. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the final corner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So essentially, we now have 4 pillars that are 8 blocks tall. We're going to link these all together by placing six blocks in the middle and what this will do is give you four eight by eight squares. Technically it's five because we have the top side as well but we're not really worrying about that. So it should currently look like this and you can make it into like a greenhouse right now that would be kind of funny um, but we're not going to do that. So what we're in fact going to do is fill in all the different sides using pure black wool and essentially give us four sides of eight by eight black wool squares. So it's very, very simple. Normally, we'd build up layer by layer each side. This time, we're just building each side as an 8x8 of black wall. We'll then add the side details and then come back around to the front side and add the hood slash face. So as you can see, it's very, very simple. Just a case of me placing all the blocks in the gaps that we've done the outline. This is essentially coloring in the lines at this point. We've done the lines and now we're just coloring in in the middle but there's not worn one color it's simply just black wool so it keeps it very very simple and doesn't really require much thought to put it like that now in regards to the top go ahead and just fill that in using black wool as well whilst you're at it and that will give you a solid well not solid a hollow because it is indeed hollow if you want to add like a brain or something in here feel free um but it's a hollow eight by eight by eight cube of black wool so it should currently look like this, not very Reaper-like, and we'll get to fixing that in a second. So what we're going to start off by doing first is coming around to the left side, and again, it is your typical 8x8. Eight eight. What you're going to do here is come to the bottom left corner, and as a 3D effect, we're going to place a row of 8 black wall, so it's basically all the way across. On top of this, what you're going to do is place a row of 7, so from left to right, 7, you'll notice it will be one block shorter on this side, but what we're going to do to compensate that is go one block to the left. So it overextends one block to the left and it will give you something that looks like this. We're then going to repeat this on the right side. So we come around to the right side. Starting in the bottom left corner, we place a row of eight black wool. And then on the second layer, we leave one block, place eight, and it will overhang one block on the rear side, as you can see right here. Now, the way we're going to connect this together on the rear side is by placing eight blocks in the middle on that row here. And then we're also going to place eight underneath. So we leave one block here. As you can see, this is a gap. We then place eight. And then we'll have a one block gap on this side. And it will give you a bit of a curved shape, as you can see. So it's essentially a row of 10 black wool and a row of eight black wool. And it extends one to the left and one to the right. So that is essentially the rear side of the hood. And that is as much detail as we're going to need to add for the other sides of the head. That's essentially the main part of the head complete. Now we've just got to worry about adding the face. So for the face, of course, we come to the front side and we're going to start off in the top left corner. What we're going to do is go over one block and we're going to place a row of six black walls. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now on the left side, we go down one and same on the right side. And this is our first step. This is the top. We're doing the black outline. What we're then going to do is on the left side, we go down diagonal to here and we're going to go down one, two, and three. And on the right side, exact same. So we go down diagonal to right and then down one, two, three. So it's four in total on each side. And essentially, this is the hood outline. Now, in the middle part is where we're going to be building the mask, I guess you could say. So this is the part that's going to be out of the birch planks um, and stairs and slabs. And it's going to be the majority of what makes Reaper Reaper. Okie dokie. Before we do that, what we're going to do is grab ourselves our stone brick stairs. And we're going to come to the black wall here we're going to go to the right one and down one so basically down diagonal and we're going to place a stair a stone brick stair facing towards the right side and on the right side we do the exact same we have one facing towards the left and that just curves in the hood round and that will link back round to the face now directly underneath this stair what we're going to do is punch out the black wall here and replace with a gray wall on each side that is the only slight variation on the 
head, so it's not an 8x8 by by of pure black. There's two blocks of grey wool, but it's a very small change and just adds a bit more colour and a bit more interest to it. So anyways, let's begin with this moss. So I'm going to get rid of all my blocks and then just get the blocks we need. So we're going to need birch planks, birch stairs, birch slabs, and also buttons. So two stone buttons. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off in this top area here. In between this black, like, N shape we made, we're going to place a row of four birch planks. Underneath that, we're going to place a row of six birch planks. So there's a row of four, and then underneath a row of six. This is where we're going to start curving in for the eyes and the nose. So on the row below, we're going to leave one block. We're then going to place an upside down stair facing towards the left. We place two um, planks and an upside down stair facing towards the right. Underneath this, we're going to leave a two block gap. We're then going to place two planks and have a two block gap. And then underneath this, we're going to place two stairs, one upside down facing towards the left and one facing towards the right. From here, what we're going to do is have to the left two birch planks and to right also two birch planks so as you can see that kind of sectioned off the eyes and that is what it looks like so far now from here it's very very simple underneath this birch plank here next to the stair we're going to go down twice and same on this side so next to the stair down twice and we're going to link together in the middle by placing a row of two birch slabs what you can do is essentially just place a row of four and then punch out the left and right corner and it will curve it off and give it something that looks like this. Now that is essentially the mask. What we're going to do is on the top left corner on this top row, we're going to place a button on the top left and top right of the birch planks. And once you've done that, it looks like this. Now in terms of final touches, finishing touches, I guess you could say, what we're going to do is grab ourselves our black wall and we're going to add a final layer to the hood. So we're going to come up to the layer here where the black wall stops right next to the birch plank and we're going to place a black wall on either side. What we're then going to do is bring it forwards the layer. So as you can see here, we're just going around the perimeter and bringing it forwards one more layer and it gives you something that looks like this. So the hood essentially sticks out two blocks at the front and will end up looking like this. And once you've done that, that is Reaper complete. You have your very own Reaper um, statue in Minecraft and I really do hope you enjoyed of course I really really like the statue and I want to give credit one more time to the designer who was Lazar otherwise known as Potaza so backing up just so you can see what it looks like I will do a little spin around in a second just again as a final opportunity to catch up if you need to so with that said again I really do hope you enjoyed if you did definitely consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing for more content if it's your kind of thing that's always um this is pretty much what I do on my channel, so if this is your kind of style of video you like, then my channel might be of interest to you. With that said, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, my name has been Tom Gummy, and hopefully I'll see you in a new video coming soon. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through